The 2018 Murray Cod opening is right at our doorstep. It's only a couple of days away, so I've come out here into my shed this evening to start getting a bit of stuff ready for the new season. I've got my old faithful tackle box that I've been carting around for a few years. $11, plain and simple. I'm gonna go and choose a few lures right now to take with me on opening morning. Being the start of the season, being that it's only opening, it's all about getting a few runs on the board. It's not a time for me to try new things, try technical things, step out of my comfort zone. The first few days of the season, I just want to get a few fish, get a few, few runs on the board, and then I'll start playing with a few different things. So naturally, when I go and choose my lures right now, I am going to be choosing some of the old faithfuls. Okay, now before I go and choose the lures that I'm going to be taking with me this Saturday, I just want to tell you something. I've been trying to organise a hide-and-seek tournament, but I tell you what, good players are hard to find. <laughs> That's shocking, isn't it? Right, hey, let's go and uh, put some Murray Cod lures in my little green tackle box. Come with me. Alrighty, hey, what have we got up here? I think I will want, I think I want this old mate lure right here, the green one in the middle of the screen. That is pretty much my go-to lure, I think. That's a uh, green old mate, awesome lure. I might even tie that one on first, I reckon. It's done a lot of work, actually. They could probably do with the re replacing the front trebles, but no, me, I probably won't. <laughs> I probably should, but probably won't. Now, I'm going to be starting off in the morning with a surface lure. So I might go for this Depths Buzz Jet. If you followed my channel last year, you would have seen me have some real good success with this Depths Buzz Jet. I caught quite a lot of cod on this lure. It worked a treat. It's a surface lure slash wake snake blast slash something else, babe. I don't know, it just swims. Sort of on the surface, but it sways left and right. This little propeller throws a lot of water up. And the smaller cod, which are common in my area, climbed all over it. Depths buzz jet, absolute winner. I might go for this old mate up here as well. This is a, uh, a purple and white old mate. Another great lure. I'll probably start with the green, but if the green doesn't do any good, I'll go to the purple and white old mate, I think. What else do I want? I have got... I didn't have last year, but now I have now because a couple of fantastic followers of my channel sent me these during the winter months. And they are the pink and white Wilson Slickback. My, this is probably my number one, all time number one Murray Cod Lure. You can't get them anymore. Luckily, I've got some amazing people following me that have sent me a couple. Thank you so much. You guys rock. Definitely be putting one of them in. Probably lose it on the first bloody snag, but I hope I don't. <laughs> I might go for a slightly larger surface lure as well, and I'll go for this, uh, I'll go for this Codger surface lure. I quite like this. I only started using these last year, and they, these work really well. I had a lot of success with these last season, so the Codger surface lure, I'll put one of them in as well. So I've got two surface lures in. I'm not going to go for any of these really big surface lures, because I'm, uh, I'm not targeting monsters. As I said earlier, I'm just going to try and get a, a bit of a score on the board. You could not possibly go cod fishing without a couple of Bassman spinner baits. Here we have, this is probably the best of them, I reckon, the Bassman DT. This is the DT in a bright orange colour, called the DT because it's got the twin, bra twin blades, believed to mean double trouble, but I don't know, so I'll put the DT in. I might grab a, uh, a Bassman 4x4 off the shelf here as well, I think. This is a nice bright coloured 4x4. This is called a 4x4, it's very similar to the DT, but it's got two smaller Colorado blades. It's actually a four-bladed lure, so you'll see the front there, it's got uh, two blades on each arm. That's the Bassman 4x4. Now I've got to make a video explaining how to fold these up, because somebody, a couple of people have messaged me telling me they're having trouble collapsing the 4x4s uh, the and the DTs down for transportation, so stay tuned for that one. I might take a big Xerox soft plastic with me too, I think. It's unlikely to be the first thing that I use, but it's always good to have one or two with you because these things are heavy and they sink very, very quick. So if I'm next to a big log, 
a big deep hole that I can't get my lure down fast enough, and I just want something big that I can sink fast and work around. Just even stand on a log and bounce it up and down under the log, you can't beat a Zerac. The great big flat shad, I think this is a six inch or five inch flat shad, perfect for that. I put my lemon in case I need it. So what have I got here? I've got a Zerac, a flat shad, two spinner boats, one, two, three diving lures and two surface lures. Might just grab a couple more divers. I'll get another old mate, pink and purple old mate. I'll put that one in. Uh, which one? Not a hundred percent sure where I'm going yet, but I've got a bit of an idea. Um, what else? What else? I'll put a predator in. I like these, but actually. I won't take that one, that's the big mega deep diving predator. I, I was giving that little Dave Brayman last year to have a bit of a play with. I've got another one I might grab, a green one. I'll just grab it out of the other room over here. <laughs> I saw it in here the other day. Where did I see that? Here it is here. Sitting on top of this old tackle box and tackle boxes and reels and rods and all kinds of stuff in here. <laughs> Soft plastics, a few spinner baits up here. Right, yeah, so that's that Predator. It's more of a greeny black colour. I like this colour. That's the standard diving size too. It's not a, a big deep diving prototype or anything. I reckon that'll just about do it for now. That should, uh, that should keep me covered. I've got two surface lures, four diving lures, two spinner baits. That should be more than enough. Alright, I am set and ready to go. There's my collection. What I might do now, this hasn't been used for all of the dust on that uh, Predator. <laughs> What I might do is quickly show you how to fold down the arms on these Bassman 4x4 and DT spinner baits. Now this is a Bassman DT spinner bait, the double trouble. To collapse this down, all you do, you squeeze the arms close together, then you push it back down over the stem of the lure like that, and it becomes one long skinny one. Then you just pull them out when you're ready to use it, and away you go. That's how you fold them down. Now. I explained to somebody in a message recently that that's how you fold down the Bassman 4x4. But I think I might have been wrong. I might have made a mistake. I thought I was wrong once, but I was wrong. <laughs> you can't actually fold that down because it's got the extra blades. It's got little things on the, uh, on the arms. So they don't collapse because they don't fit through the eye. So to the person that I said it's really easy, you just fold it down. I apologise, I've got them confused with the Bassman DT. The Bassman DT folds down real easily. Looks like the 4x4 has to go in your tackle box like that. There's my cod lures organised for this Saturday morning. I can't wait. I've actually been putting off making this video because I knew as soon as I started playing with these lures, that uh, I'd get a bit of a twitch in my casting arm and I just want to get out there and cast. <laughs> but I had to write a fishing report last night for Fishing Monthly magazine. A lot of it was to do with Murray Cod. And I'm as eager as I've ever been to get out and uh, chase the big green fish. Good luck on the water this weekend, everybody heading out. I hope this video has just helped you make your selection with your lure choices. I can't wait.